Hey y'all, it is February the 24th, 2018, and y'all, I have a number of videos that have yet to be uploaded. Obviously, I've already been uploading some what you might deem controversial subject materials. I wanted to put out before I upload the next series of videos basically a disclaimer to let you know just to let you know in advance they're going to be very serious very very serious uh, subject material namely this whole situation that's going down in Florida mind you there's not a person in this world who's more concerned about the idea of children getting gunned down at school than myself and I'm not saying that to brag I'm saying there is no way that you could be more concerned with it all right but I had to warn y'all let you know that there will be a series of videos there already is and I'm gonna upload regarding to what does not make sense and the whole Florida school shooting situation, how that pertains to us, how we are definitely being lied to, right? I want to let that be known. And I also want to discuss with y'all, of course, that I do have two channels. And we're going to see how things go uh, with my music channel over there, uh, dedicated to Caitlin Nicole Davis and her loving memory and her story and her words. Um... I do have a musical channel and I want to point that out because of course you know on the music channel it is dedicated to simply just music you'll know alright and we talk about this and that but it's all basically dedicated to music and of course I talk about the musical renaissance and of course there are entities such as YouTube and all these record labels and this and that who would sincerely disagree with what it is I'm saying on the musical channel. Sincerely they would. And in that sense you could almost view some of the things I discussed to be political. And in that I literally am proposing to take hands out of the money. Or the money out of the hands of people who don't deserve it. And instead, you know, putting it back into our own hands. That's the whole musical thing. It has nothing to do with what I'm doing over here on this channel. All right, those are separate entities. But on this channel, we're discussing, obviously, some stuff that's actually much more um, alarming, all right? Uh, way down into the nitty gritty, like really, really the ugliest of the truth is what we're discussing most times on this channel. And I do want to say that, you know, the series of videos that I'm about to put up, more than likely, even though I'm going to go out of my way to not use vulgar language or hateful rhetoric, if you will, the thing is I absolutely am not inciting any sort of violent repercussions on nobody. What I'm telling you is this is a clear in-your-face lie. More, more than likely, videos just like this one are going to be deleted all over YouTube. They don't believe in your First Amendment or your second one or any of the other ones. Alright, I want to discuss that because videos might go well go and get deleted and you might wonder, well, what in the world is going on? Well, I'm going to just let you know. It's not exactly... It's not exactly what YouTube wants for me to be talking about. For me to be talking about this. They don't want me talking about this. Even though I'm going to follow their terms of service to a T. Doesn't matter. It's going to get deleted. Or, you know, it might get hit with copyright strikes and stuff because here, I gotta let you know, what I'm going to be showing you is the news. Just the news. And that's public domain, right? You should be able to, and it's actually very legal to, share the news and speak your commentary over it and upload it on the internet. That's extremely legal. And that's what I'm going to do. And yet still, I'm gonna be hit with copyright strikes my videos are going to get deleted. It is going to compromise this channel probably, but I can't help it. And the thing is, I'm going to discuss that in a second. Thing is, it might even get to the point where they start messing with my other channel, which has nothing to do 
with all the political and social stuff that I'm mentioning on this channel. Right? They might even attack that channel, which would be a damn shame. And like I said, you know, I had to take a brief, um, just a day, day and a half off from the other channel for anybody who's trying to keep up with it. Uh, God bless you and stuff. It's going to be back and we're not going to skip a beat. I'm going to be back and, and the playlist is going to be brought up to date as soon as I come back in about a day, half a day or something like that. All right. That channel has nothing to do with this channel, like I said. Totally different directions. But you'll know that that channel might even be compromised. Why? Because I'm so hateful. Why? Because I want evidence. And I see none. I want to explain on a personal level that people are going to judge me uh, just right off the bat. Just by looking at me. All right? People are going to judge me and guess what? They're going to judge you too. But I want to focus on me because people are going to judge me uh, just like Nicholas over there without hearing none of my words and stuff like that. They're going to they're gonna wrap it all up in a nice tight little package and put a bow on it. They're going to judge the crap out of me all right, for all sorts of reasons. One I want to address is lots of people... Lots of people will go ahead and judge me, uh, uh, you know, in regards to my daughter. And say, oh, you're not in your daughter's life. You're a damn deadbeat. You're, you're a horrible individual. You, you obviously can't be around your daughter because you're just not to be trusted around children and things of this nature. And you're a terrible father and you're not doing anything to struggle in the courts. And you're not doing anything to legally take action against your ex-wife. And you're not doing anything. You're just laying down like a damn dirty dog. You know, people are just going to go off on a tangent and trust me it's not as though I don't know what you're thinking I just told you what you're thinking so people are gonna judge me in this regard all right people are gonna judge me and say oh he's a Debbie he probably doesn't pay his child support he's probably trying to duck out of first of all I have nothing to prove to you secondly yeah, I have been paying child support but still I have nothing to prove to you the only thing is that I live in Texas and if you have a job with a W-2 and any sort of paperwork, you're going to get your child support taken, period. You don't have a choice. And that's beside the point. Thing is, they're going to judge me in all sorts of ways. Oh, you're not allowed around your daughter. Ooh, you're probably a murderer. You're probably a... And they'll never stop at all the different names that they want to call me. All right. I'm definitely going to be judged in that regard by people who don't know me. And I want to let you know and admit to you right now. There's so much that I don't know about my daughter, and it pains me. And here's the thing. If I, if I didn't know anybody else on earth, and just knew my daughter, that'd be all right. But I have nothing to prove to you. All right? The thing is, I don't hardly know nothing about my daughter over the past few years. And that's my own personal experience. All right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Is she in public school? I don't know. I have no idea. I can assume she is. I know that that's what the direction she was going uh, in when I last seen her was public school. So I assume that she is in a public school. But I don't know. All right. That being said, you know, I see what's going down in these public schools with all these kids being shot up. Not only that, I mean, the, the person shooting them up, whoever it is, and we're struggling to find any sort of evidence. Whoever is shooting them up, that's bad enough. I mean, that's over the top, but the thing is, I've seen so many videos now of children, they have no idea what to do. Even though there's drills that they explicitly have to go through, uh, drills about getting shot up and down, they now have drills about that in public schools. They now have drills about getting shot up and down. All right, and, and yet, and still, even though they do have the drills, when it does happen, supposedly allegedly when it does happen these children are scared into frozen submission into their classrooms try debating me on that right frozen into submission they have not 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 a clue what to do all they know is hide behind a desk and it'll protect you from the ak bullets i don't know if my daughter is in public school and so what i had to let y'all know is this situation has become so, so over the top, so absurd, and so now it's often, happens often, frequently, that I don't have a choice. I don't know where my daughter is. I don't have a choice. But to see the amount of retardation that you're accepting me, or you're expecting me to accept, 
I can't. You have no proof. So no, I can't drop this. In fact, I'm not going to drop this. In fact, you know what? I'll probably drop this when the next one happens. You understand? And when it does happen, here's what I got to let you know. The guy that's on my side right now, all right, just to suggest, he's going to make y'all look even more absurd than you look this time. Understand this, I've seen so many people looking absurd and saying totally irrelevant things, non sequitur, just talking out of their ass already. In a situation that I find very, very concerning, I have a daughter, I don't know where she is. She might very well be in one of these public schools. How would she know what to do? I can't drop this. You haven't given me no evidence. Nothing. You're accusing this autistic boy. You're accusing this autistic boy and we haven't even seen his testimony. I mean, this is nuts. It's nuts and I'm not going to drop it. I'm not going to drop it. That's the thing about it. You can delete me all you want. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because it is over the top. And I'm not going to stop it. You know what I'm saying? Thing is, if YouTube bans me, psh, I saw it coming. Find me somewhere else because I'm not stopping. All right. If I'm 100% wrong, here's what I want to let you know. I'm willing to consider that as a possibility. If I'm 100% wrong, I want to know. And I'm going to find out irregardless. All right. CNN, YouTube, all y'all out there. I'm not stopping. In fact, I'm not the only one. You got hundreds of thousands of people on your hands right now. That's why, you know, I actually I feel very safe because not only am I putting like code words so that the robots can't really know too easy what I'm talking about and I'm going through different lengths to do that. Not only that, but hundreds of thousands of people are starting to understand exactly what I know right now. And it's a very safe feeling because you can't kill all of us. You can't. You can't make us all be quiet. You're lying about murders of children. I'm not going to have it. It's February the 24th, 2018. And y'all buckle up. It is going to get wild. It is going to get wild. I hope you're ready for it. 